the market we are trying to analyze is online market versus offline market. We are focusing on how online marketplaces like Amazon and eBay affect the general market inequality that exists between large and small companies. For this project, we have specifically interviewed two Amazon workers to aid in our analysis about how online marketplaces affect consumer shopping behavior patterns and how these changes ultimately affect the inequality between large and small companies. The reading that we focused on for our project are Roy William reading, which is about how big companies or corporations have advantages over small companies and status signal reading by Padelny Joel. As a general concept that we have learned through multiple examples in class, markets are an uneven playing field. An existing market inequality resides between large and small companies, where powerful corporations and already successful businesses continue to thrive and expand, while smaller companies and startups face an upward battle towards recognition and success. While there are many reasons and factors that have affected and contributed to this inequality, we are going to analyze a couple concepts that we have learned in class to explain some of the phenomenon observed in today's marketplace. First, based on William Roy's piece on socializing capital, the rise of the large industrial corporation in America, we see that large corporations and more powerful companies have an advantage in the American marketplace because they have access to more resources and are often doing business with each other through interlocking directorates. Furthermore, larger companies tend to have a higher status, which Joel Padolny explains in Status Signals, where he explores how the status of a company affects consumer behaviors in the market. But first, we should probably define status. Status refers to an actor's position in a hierarchical order. In this case, the actor is a business or a company, which essentially represents some, better, some sense of better or worse that is directly tied to the pattern of relations and affiliations in which the company does and does not choose to engage. This idea can be illustrated with the example in class about Tiffany and their choice to not sell turquoise because of turquoise affiliation with a lower status. This invisible hierarchy ultimately leads to deference relations, which is characterized by inequality where one person engages in behavior directed towards another that can be interpreted as an acknowledgement that the other should be regarded as superior in some sense, thus creating a hierarchy, and that there is a positive correlation between actor status and their perceived value quality. Applying this to our analysis, we can observe the role that status plays in the continual growth and success of Amazon. Amazon.com is arguably one of the most successful online firms, with the market value surpassing $350 billion as of 2016, and a net worth that exceeds both Kohl's and Target combined. Amazon's status as a marketplace that reaches an enormous international audience of consumers has drawn the attention of large and small companies alike, shaking up and affecting business plans and strategies of traditionally offline brick and mortar stores, corporations, large businesses. Thus, the main question that we are investigating is the effect that online marketplaces like Amazon and eBay, Amazon in particular, have on the inequality and power differences that exist between large and small companies. Apparel is the fastest growing category of products on Amazon. Likewise, it's the third largest product category on Amazon. Small companies and startups are able to sell online more easily due to the reduced number of large and established companies on this platform. Companies without much power sell on Amazon because they don't have the resources to recruit significant traffic to their own websites. Normally, the apparel industry relies on status for success. Clothing prices can run anywhere from $2 to $5,000. Uncertainty about quality tends to be high in the clothing industry as well. Status tends to leak from low to high. That is, a low status company brings down the status of the higher status company. High status companies usually do not want to be associated with low status companies. Selling on Amazon gives these smaller low status companies more exposure. This means that many high status companies choose not to sell on Amazon. However, it also means that the gap between higher and lower status companies is reduced when selling over Amazon. The largest and second largest categories on Amazon are cell phones and accessories, and home and kitchen gear. The power distribution is more equivalent between companies in these categories. Amazon forces sellers to find niche markets in these categories, giving buyers a wider selection of products. This reduces the power differential within categories. Quality uncertainty is much reduced in these categories. The companies tend to focus on the functionality of their products. 
they may achieve a good reputation, but no difference is made in their status. Companies that achieve a good reputation gain less power than those of high status. Status is based on prestige and importance. It is difficult to achieve high status because a company must capture a high status customer base. In gaining a good reputation, the company must be only concerned with the quality of their product. On Amazon, we see that power is actually based on reputation rather than status, at least in the largest categories. Amazon reduces the power differential by attracting smaller companies to sell on its platform. These small companies fill niche markets and provide a wider variety of products to customers. Hence, large companies are not able to monopolize power as easily. Amazon does not offer other different incentives to sellers. All sellers play by the same rules. This helps small businesses because these policies help avoid biases toward larger corporations. Amazon does not want to drive away small businesses because these small businesses give them upper hand against other platforms by including such vast options for customers. If you go to Target, you're only looking at their products, but with Amazon customers, are often much larger inventory to choose from and the price is marginally lower at Amazon because of higher competition between sellers. Amazon is a big company and because of their high status in the online market, they provide all sellers to the same degree of exposure can be accessed by both large and small companies alike. For example, Target used Amazon as the online, online market in the past because they knew that Amazon has a wide online platform for customers and their services are superior. and demonstrates how Amazon's status as a reputable online marketplace affects corporate behavior, even with large retailers such as Target. E-commerce sales are growing at a faster rate than offline sales. For example, Barnes & Noble are, is going out of business. It's because of the rise of online market. Amazon has features such as they show prices of new books, they have Amazon Kindle, and now they're allowing customers to see inside of the book. Customers are more drawn to Amazon because of their reliability and faster shipping. Through the interviews, we learned some negative aspects of shopping with an online market such as Amazon. While e-commerce is a rapidly growing market, it still accounts for less sales percentage-wise than offline sales. As this quote from US News states, it's additionally worth noting that non-store transactions in America between January and November accounted for a little more than 11% of all retail sales, according to government statistics. So while sales at non-store and e-commerce outfits may be growing quickly, Americans are still by and large getting the bulk of their shopping done in actual brick and mortar stores. With the many advantages to buying products from Amazon, it is threatening certain markets, such as book sales. Buying a book from Barnes & Noble costs more money than buying the same book from Amazon, and Amazon offers other benefits such as prime shipping. While Amazon and other large online markets are able to help bridge the gap between large and small companies, buying options still could have less of an advantage for smaller companies making smaller purchases since there are often incentives for large quantity purchases often made by large companies. Some sectors of the market are unfit for online sales, such as many services, restaurants, and groceries, although Amazon is currently pursuing some of these markets as well. Not everyone has access to these online markets, since it only targets a population with access to internet. In our interview, we had a quote that said that he would rather shop at a retail store so he can see and touch the project he is buying. If he sees the product, he is usually able to perceive how long the product will last. In the end, there are positive and negative effects of Amazon's role in the market because of the continuous rise of online sales. Amazon has become a behemoth in the online market, which is creating an inequality in the online shopping businesses. 
but it's still undeniable that their large audience can definitely be of some help to small businesses.